Hello and welcome to Kelowna, BC, Canada. I am so excited to bring to you today a little bit of Dolce Cucina. Okay, well welcome to Dolce Cucina. Dolce Cucina is sweet kitchen in Italian. So what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to be making you a fantastic tiramisu. Now this tiramisu has a little twist on it. It's not your regular Italian tiramisu. I've made it a real light version. So what I'm hoping for is uh, for you guys to try this out because it is absolutely to die for. It's like heaven in your mouth. So we're going to start off with Philadelphia strawberry cream cheese. Now this is going to make this absolutely wonderful. So two full containers of strawberry Philadelphia cream cheese. There's one. And there's two. That there. And what we're going to add to that now is we're going to get this mixing. So we get that cream cheese blended in with the milk. Believe it or not, we're going to add in a little half a cup of coffee. And with that, we're going to add in uh, one whole cup of white chocolate instant pudding. And you can use vanilla pudding if you like too, but I really like the white chocolate. It gives it a real nice blend with the white chocolate and strawberry. So one cup, which would be two packages of your regular pudding. Let that mix in there. And we need to add another cup and a half of milk. Because we've added the pudding, now we'll put in the other half, one and a half um, cups of milk. Okay, so we've got all that cream cheese all mixed in. We're going to take this off the pole and we're going to fold in whipped topping. So one whole tub of whipped topping goes in there. Just fold that in. Okay, so once you've got that all kind of incorporated in there, we're going to just set it aside for a moment and we're going to get our dishes ready to put Okay, so now we're ready to assemble our tiramisu. I've chosen to use these um, little trifle glass dishes and they make just an awesome presentation if you're having guests over and you want to do individual servings. There's nothing nicer than everyone having their own little serving of dessert. So we're going to start off with the lady fingers, which we're going to dip in the coffee and um, I'm going to just add a little bit of coffee liqueur to the coffee just to add a little bit of zing to that flavor. Okay, and I've cut the lady fingers in half just so that we're going to make them fit into those glass bowls. And I just kind of want to tell you too about the dipping. It's a, a little bit of a process, but you don't want to dip it in too long and you don't want to dip it in not enough because you want that lady finger to soak just enough so that it's not soggy but still holds its consistency there. So we're going to dip that in the coffee and liqueur. per layer I'm thinking here it's just personal preference so whatever you think you're going to need to make for however many guests you're having we're going to layer in a little bit of dusting of cocoa
Then we're going to put on the grated chocolate, and I've gone ahead and grated up some chocolate here. I'm going to sprinkle that on. I like to be fairly generous with the chocolate because it really does punch up the flavor a little bit. Now on top of the chocolate, we're going to add some strawberries. And again, if you really like a different fruit, feel free to do raspberries, kiwi, blueberries, whatever your little heart desires. I really like the strawberry flavor because it's um, in season right now. There's lots of strawberries available. And of course, living in the Okanagan, there's nothing better than fresh strawberries. So load up the strawberries. Another layer of fingers. So pop them down on there. Now this is so easy and quick to make. You'll have fabulous dessert in no time at all for your guests. And I can't tell you enough how many rave reviews you will Okay, so we're ready for some more of the filling. We're going to put that on top. Okay, we've just about got the whipped topping all done. And we're going to top it off with just a little bit more cocoa. A little more chocolate shavings. And we'll just finish it off with just a little tiny bit of the strawberries. Okay, so there you have it. Strawberry tiramisu. Sensational strawberry tiramisu. Well, ladies, there you have it. This is the greatest tiramisu in a trifle bowl, individual serving for your guests. I hope you enjoy making this because it's sure a lot of fun. Uh, one of the other things I do want to do before we go is um, let you know that your mason jars can come in handy for individual servings too. Now my daughter got married just last year and what I did for her, she had 150 guests and she wanted to serve them tiramisu. So I opted for doing the mason jars and uh, doing the tiramisu in the jars is really great. It's fun. It's the greatest dessert for after a, a meal. So I'm just going to show you what this looks like in one of the little tiny mason jars. I've, I've used both sizes. So you can use the 250 ml or the 125 like this one. And chocolate. Top it off with strawberries. There you have it. Simple, smart, sweet. Anybody getting married will just absolutely love this. There it is. Strawberry tiramisu in a 125 ml jar. Okay, here we are at Dolce Cucina. I am going to try the tiramisu we just made. And oh, I am so looking forward to this. Mmm. Mmm. You're going to love it. You will get nothing but rave reviews. I guarantee it. It is so, so good. Heaven in your mouth. Sue, I hope you guys come back to Dolce Cucina and thank you very much.